Hey everybody, this is Jim Austin, your man in the Stockyards. We're up here at the Stockyards podcast recording studio on North Main 2029 North Main. This is where it goes on. Today we're, we're filming The Austin File. What is The Austin File? It's a podcast that lets you know what's going on in North Texas. It lets you know, you know, what's uh, happening at the museum. We talk about commercial real estate, but we also interview interesting people, people that have something to say, something that the, on their mind, something that might improve your day or hopefully maybe your life. But uh, I am Jim Austin. I am the president of Jim Austin Online and the broker with the Austin Company Commercial Real Estate. When you're thinking about real estate, you think about Jim Austin, the fresh prince of commercial real estate. We're gonna be letting you get a piece of my sizzle reel that will let you know who Jim Austin is. Some people say the man, but we're just gonna to say today, Jim Austin. So today we got a special guest, drove all the way in from Northeast Tarrant County, we met a little about a week or two ago. She said, "Hey, Jim, I'm coming in." We met at the party fest. Yes, we did. Danya of Daisy Daisy's One World. How are you doing? Doing really, really good. Thank you so much for having me. Well, when when me and Dex met you, we said there's something special there, and we talked about a few things, and we set this date up Tuesday at 11 o'clock that you were gonna come over and tour my museum. And you said, wow, about 10 times, you know? <laughs> yes. And your associate said, wow, about 15 times. <laughs> yes. Okay, so you gotta come over and check out the museum. But today we're podcasting. Let's, Jim, let's talk to the host, to the guest and learn about them. Tell us where you're from, how you started your business and what your business is and then we'll talk about how we can collaborate and make things happen. Well, it would be an honor to be able to work with the Jim Austin. Um, so well connected. I'm really, really excited to be here. Um, a little bit of background from me. I was basically raised in South Fort Worth. So this is my hood. When you said it was over by Main Street, I was like, yes. <laughs> That's why all the wowiness was... Uh, <laughs> Uh, it, within my eyes sparkling because I don't know how many times I've cruised up and down this main street, uh, done a lot of weird things on this street. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is a part of town that gets pretty wild. I got my night. first belly button piercing right down the street. Uh, okay. Anything that's young and rebellious, yeah, this is the area for it. Uh, I've performed at Bibelos down the street several times. I also belly dance. Um, and as far as how I got my business started, uh, I was in aerospace for 11 years. I started off as a helicopter mechanic in the army. I was doing that for six years. Uh, and when I was in high school, I was already doing aircraft maintenance and finishing high school. And then during my junior year of high school, I joined the military, went to boot camp. I highly recommend everybody joins the military. I, I know it sounds weird, but it adds a lot of structure, especially if you have a background with not a whole lot of structure, which I didn't. Uh, we walked all over my mama, that poor woman. <laughs> but I definitely came back a much better uh, structured adult. And from there, I continued my usual passions, which was the performing arts. I started singing and performing when I was five years old in a band with my dad. And uh, the performance bug never left me. Um, so then once I built enough economic back background with me, or what do you call it? More like a uh, foundation, economic foundation. I started to plot my way out of corporate world. I saved up for several years to be able to sustain myself for at least two years, knowing that entertainment was probably gonna be a losing, uh, a losing streak. <laughs> I quit corporate October 2019, and then COVID hit March 2020. Yes, ma'am. 
but we've been still blowing and going. And like I said, uh, we met at Party Fest. Uh, Party Fest is another one of those very uh, humbling opportunities that landed in my lap because of meeting so many amazing people and people that are well connected in the entertainment industry, uh, the, you know, entrepreneur industry, uh, anybody that is a go-getter, a driver, that has a good heart, good character, I gravitate towards and I listen and I do whatever I can to uh, solidify that relationship and see what we can do to grow together. Well, amazing. You know, that's why I love doing these podcasts. I would have ne never thought you were a vet, you know, that you were in the military. And you were actually working on helicopter? UH-60s. Really? Black Hawks, yeah. Black Hawks? So, mm. Man, that's a whole nother show right there, <laughs> you know? Yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. I met a lot of really amazing people, uh, intelligent people, and um, just learned a lot of great lessons that I don't think I would have been able to get in the real world. Well, if you worked on the engine, then you probably had to fly in a Black Hawk. Yes, I was a crew chief, so... I got to be behind the 249 flying around with my pilots. <laughs> Let me move over here. I mean, <laughs> I, you know, it's my podcast, but I'm like, mm, tell me more. That's some heavy stuff. So, yeah. It was, it was great. I think my favorite is flying with night vision goggles at night and just being able to look up at the stars while you're doing really crazy maneuvers. Sure. Uh, we would, uh, there's a video on my YouTube channel. Daisy's One World. Um, I didn't have the heart to take it down. Basically, one of the uh, warrant officers is like dead asleep in the back. And I was like telling the, the pilot to put the engine on idle. When you put the engine on idle, you go like zero G. Yeah. You just like uplift. If you have a pin up, it'll float on you. Okay. So the pilot was sleeping. And I was like, ready, set, go. I record it. And there's a video of him going, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> it's got a whole bunch of views, likely because it's short. But yeah, I was like, it doesn't go with the brand, the company at all. But it's staying up there. <laughs> well, you know, um, the party fest is what it says—a party fest. Mm -hmm. It was two hundred vendors showing their wares of what they do and how they can help you have a party, mm -hmm. a wedding, a banquet. Um, we gathered probably about 200 cards and, you know, yeah. we're getting ready to send them an email. But what we'd like to do is make sure that we share this podcast with you, that you share it with your friends. Yeah. So today we're going to go do a tour of the warehouse. So you can see my other world because uh, I told you I'm a serial entrepreneur. I love you that. You know, and just having fun. We have five businesses that we're working and you got to see them. Them. You toured the uh, um, Western Heritage Center. You saw the uh, co-working space, space, and you met my team. And I'm so glad you brought your business associate with you. And we're going to see how we can make the world a better world. Daisy's One World, Jim Austin Online, making things happen. So we're going to do that for sure. Tell my audience if they want to get in touch with you. Uh, you can give me your email, your your handles, you know, your cell number, you know, whatever you want to do. Go right there, right there. So everything can be found on our website, daisiesoneworld.com. Um, within that website, you can book us as artists. You can book us as event planners, management team, choreographers. Uh, you can also book our outsourced teams. We have several partnerships with fire performers, silt walkers, silks, aerialists. Uh, also, there is a community calendar on there if you hit events. And everything that is community building event styles are on that calendar. Um, so that that way, even if there's people out there that say they don't like Facebook or they don't want Instagram, they still have a central hub. And if you subscribe, we also send out a newsletter when something is coming up. Well, I want to invite you to my family fun day. So it's a, I have a five-year-old too. 
The Bam. Girl. That's yeah. what it's for. And um, people are registering right now. We're partnering with Tarrant County 911. It's the 18th of September. It's a Saturday. I think it's from like 10 to 10 to 1. But we have, you know, horseback riding, rock climbing, archery. Everybody mm -hmm. eats free. And You're speaking my language. Sponsors. So we want to make sure. Maybe there's something that you can bring out for the kids. And all the kids get snow cones. Absolutely free. I'm also a kid's entertainer. Um, I can be a clown, a balloon twister, a face painter. Uh, or I can just ribbon dance with the kids and bring bubble machines, bubble guns. <laughs> Man, we got the DJ. So we'll, we'll talk about making that happen. But um, how many minutes I got, team? You know, I know we try to keep it down. I got 10 left? Man. Man, I'm having fun, but there it is. Okay, let's see. I'm so, trying not to get too long-winded because it can happen. It can happen? <laughs> okay, growing up as a little girl, you know, tell us what it was, how you were, and what motivated you. And see, you said you could. Money. You'd get money. <laughs> <laughs> I was after that money for a hot minute. Hot money for a hot minute. <laughs> yeah, when you, when you grow up poor, you know, you think, Oh, when I have money, I can do this or I can do that. Money equals freedom, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of the decisions I made was based on like, well, how do I get the biggest bang for my energy? And once I gained that financial stability, I was like, shit, this isn't enough. I got to fill my soul. And art was always there to help me grow and to make me feel whole. Well, you said you sang. Mm -hmm. I I sang up and down this street too, like little Mexican restaurants and stuff. Mm -hmm. My dad and I would just show up at random restaurants. I'd sing, and then I'd run around with a little hat, getting my tips. Oh man, we're gonna make at, some money at, together. A little little okay. ass kid making a bunch of tips, and I'd be like, "Oh, I got more money." What what type of music did you sing? Uh, back in the day, as a little girl, it was mainly Hispanic like cumbias and rancheras and uh they used to call me a little little selena because mm -hmm. i did a lot of her covers you did yeah can you, can you do one real quick uh sure go ahead you know which one do i want to do i'll do carcacha <clears throat> right here on jim austin online we got I it, done it you in know a long time, but danya Que un madera que no tiene ahogando, la gente se pregunta quién sabe qué es. Un madero que no tiene ahogando. I don't remember all the lyrics. And then here we go. I'll do the carcacha, paso pasito, no dejes de tambalear. Carcacha, poco a poquito, no nos vayas a dejar. Hit that clap button in the back. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. It's a little. You know, when rough. Dex and I met you and your associate, what was she, the young lady? Brialis. Brialis. Mm -hmm. We said, man, there's something special going on here. And we just did some bonding, you know, within that 10 minutes and said, hey, Jim, I'm coming over on Tuesday to do a podcast, tour mm -hmm. the museum. We're going to go see the uh, warehouse. That's really going to be your, you know, thing that says, wow, Jim. It's interesting how um, driven personalities gravitate towards each other so organically. Uh, one thing that I've recognized in the entertainment industry is to always follow what feels right. Go with your intuition. Uh, don't force it. If you're having to constantly chase a contact, then that contact doesn't see your value and you don't need to waste your time because you're just going to walk away feeling kind of like, oh man, I put in all this effort. Um, with Jim, it was easy. It was comfortable. Uh, you talk about like the way we connected with Briales. Briales was one of those people that I gravitated toward instantly. I saw her, I was a resident go-go at a club and I saw her with her hoop and she jumped up on one of the platforms that was meant for us. And I looked at her and I saw her shine and I saw her look fully in her zone and comfortable with what she was doing. And I was like, she needs to join our team. And I approached her and she goes, I have been, you're Daisy. I've been looking for you. I've been trying to track you down. I was like, 
Yes, that's the response that that I like to hear because that means that it was already meant to happen. Those paths were already supposed to happen. And once she joined the team, I feel like she elevated us by a lot. She's a super talented hairdresser, has an eye for counting choreography. Um, I'm a very intuitive choreographer, did improvisational for a very long time. It doesn't look improvisational, but it is most of the time if I'm soloing. Um, so I had to l teach myself like how to build it to where I can teach big groups of people. And that's where counting came in. Her background is ballerina, like classic ballet. So she and I complement one another really well. We'll have to bring her on next time. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll do that because this is not our final. This is just our beginning in a long friendship business opportunity. So we'll definitely do that. And I'm excited that you've agreed to be a judge for Showtime at the warehouse. We are looking for individual singers. We're going to take, you don't cost you any money to enter. It's a thousand dollar first place. The final 20 will be chosen. So uh, Danya has agreed to be one of the judges for this competition. So right now the uh, portals are open. Go to Jim Austin online or go to Showtime at the warehouse and sign up and send your video in. This has been truly a blessing for me to have conversation with you. Uh, this is one of the gifts that I gave Danya and her associate is a jar of Mrs. Renfro's uh, mango habanero salsa. And um, this is where, if you come visit me, you get a bottle of this sauce. They're one of our sponsors, and I want to thank Doug Renfro. They've been around for 60 years, and this stuff is good. They got about 20 flavors, so I'm going to give you this one, and you can go check out and get some of the others. But truly a pl pleasure. Go to Jim Austin online. Join my uh, Facebook. Join my Instagram. Um my social media, uh, LinkedIn, we're connected. I want to thank you so much for coming in and, and, and joining me on the Austin, uh, the Austin file. Yeah, I got to get it right. Okay, Jim. You know, so <laughs> this is probably my 80th show and um, they trying to keep me in line. And uh, this has been very fun, a lot of fun. And I want to talk more about your military background and your partnership and i look forward to hearing you uh, perform at my center anything else you want to shout out at your fans and my fans big shout out to applause production dirk and lisa for putting on party fest you guys did an amazing job we are so grateful that you open up such a beautiful platform for dfw entertainment to get connected that was smart and that was from the heart Thank you. I look forward to meeting y'all too. This is Jim Austin, Jim Austin Online from the Austin File. Thank you very much.